Story 1. In the far suburbs stood an old, abandoned building that from afar seemed like a huge dark shadow, shrouded in mystery and terror. The locals had been avoiding this gloomy structure for years, spreading rumors that its walls were haunted by sinister spirits and ghosts, and that strange lights peer out of its windows at night. One day, a group of daredevils decided to test the rumors and, armed with flashlights and cameras, set out to explore this mysterious place. Among them were Jack and Emily, a couple in love with thrill-seeking adventure, sibling brother Max and Lisa, and intrepid explorer Dan. Climbing the creaky steps, they entered a gloomy building whose walls seemed alive with anguished voices. The first thing that caught his eye was the feeling that they were being watched. Shadows moved across the walls, and the air smelled old and damp. The floor was covered with dirt, and the surviving mirrors reflected something more sinister than the explorers themselves. They stepped out into a dark corridor that seemed to have no end. Somewhere in the distance there was a strange scraping sound, as if someone or something was scraping against the walls. Everyone's hearts raced, but no one wanted to admit their fear. From time to time they found antiques that seemed to have been left here years ago. Dusty books, cracked photographs, dusty household items. But worst of all were the writings on the walls, as if someone had written them in blood. The garbled words and sentences read strange stories of suffering and death. As they walked on, the building seemed to change its shape. Corridors led to the same doors, walls shrinking and expanding, as if lost souls were manipulating the structure of the building to confuse their new visitors. The explorers realized with horror that they had encountered something supernatural. But just before they decided to leave, there was an ominous chuckle, and the doors closed behind them, giving them no way to get out. Something began to approach, and the group realized that they were not alone in this abandoned building. Now, remaining in the locked room, they heard footsteps and ghostly whispers. The spirits of the past had awakened, and they were not about to let their new guests go. Max tried to appeal to the spirits, but his voice sank into the air. They spent many hours in the gloomy environment that seemed like an eternity. The spirits taunted their minds, showing visions of terrible past events, causing illusions and phantom pains. The group could feel their consciousness beginning to disintegrate under the influence of the sinister force. However, their salvation came from an unforeseen source. A little girl, pale and frightened, appeared from the shadows and held out her hand. Help me. Save me, she whispered. Gathering their last strength, the group of explorers decided to follow her. The girl led them through confusing corridors and doors, avoiding dangers. She seemed to know this place like the back of her hand. They ran away from the ghosts, feeling the cold air around them, and everything around them seemed to breathe an invisible threat. Time and space seemed to distort, and at one point they realized they were in a completely different part of the building. Stopping in one of the rooms, the girl told them that she had been the victim of dark rituals that had taken place in the abandoned building many years ago. Her soul was imprisoned in the place, and since then she has been wandering among the ghosts, unable to find her way to the light. She was freed when a group of researchers accidentally broke the dark spell, and now she could go to the next world. Compassion overwhelmed the explorers, and they decided to help the girl free more than one more soul trapped in this cursed place. Together they set out to find the ritual room where the cruel rites were performed. Along the way they encountered embodiments of the horrors of the past. Shadows from flickering candles, ominous silhouettes of people, distorted faces, and their frantic screams haunted the group, but they did not retreat. Each of the explorers had their own ghosts that tried to tear them away from reality, but only willpower helped them resist this evil. Finally, they found a ritual room, its walls decorated with cracked mirrors and symbols of mystical practices. Rusty knives and scrolls with ancient spells lay on the dirty floor. Scary ghosts began to haunt the group even more, but they accepted the challenge, ready to destroy this cursed place. With the help of the girl who showed them the way to save the souls, they carefully broke the spells and cleansed the cursed artifacts. Every step was dangerous, but it was the only way to free the souls trapped in this sinister trap. With each cursed object destroyed, the room grew darker and darker. Finally, when the last ritual was destroyed, the building shook with a terrible scream, and the world around them seemed to collapse. The group of explorers woke up in the street, 
in front of the ruins of the very same building. The sun had risen, chasing away the last shadows of the night, and they realized that it had all been just a terrible dream. But they had a strange feeling that something real had happened. They would never forget this adventure, which was a true test of courage and will. Despite the fact that they found themselves in just an old abandoned building, they realized that there are dark corners in all of us that need to be freed. Since then, the building has been called the House of Salvation and has attracted people from all over the world who want to overcome their fears and free their souls from dark ties. It has become a symbol of hope and the belief that courage and compassion can overcome even the most difficult challenges. Story 2. Deep in a dark and ominous forest, where no light penetrates, stands an abandoned building that once served as a place of fear and terror for the locals. The story of this place begins decades ago, when a ruthless man named Jonathan Hensley worked here. He was known for his brutality and cruel experiments on innocent victims. Jonathan Hensley was known for his indomitable desire for power and his eternal thirst for knowledge. He believed that only extreme methods could bring about breakthroughs in science and medicine. However, his research led down the darkest and most dangerous path. Locals heard strange sounds coming from the abandoned building at night. The shadows of passersby who disappeared and were left alone in this scary place told of unexplained phenomena, ghosts and ominous signs of life inside. Shortly after his death, the building was sealed but its sinister appeal drew the curious and the desperate, who risked their lives trying to unravel the secrets of the dark place. But those who dared to enter never came out. The abandoned building became a symbol of horror and mysticism. For years after Hensley's death, the gloomy building stood there as a monument to his ruthless experiments. No one dared to approach it, and secrets forgotten for centuries gradually turned the place into a cradle of horror. Legends say that every night the abandoned building comes to life, shrouded in dark shadows and listening to the footsteps of those who choose to explore its terrifying corridors. The ghosts of its victims still roam these gloomy walls, expressing their anger and suffering. And now, as night plunges the land into darkness, the abandoned building awaits new victims, ready to swallow them into its ghastly depths. What was once a place of fear and terror has become a legend, passed down from generation to generation, filling the hearts of all who hear the story with terror and awe.